historic board in town city is called the little city with a lot of charm. It's only one square mile, uh, about 4,000 people live here. Bordentown is in south central New Jersey. We're on the banks of the Delaware River, kind of tucked in about 10 miles below Trenton. Bordentown City has sort of an old-fashioned Main Street, which is Farnsworth Avenue. Most of the shops and restaurants are right along Farnsworth Avenue. Within about a three or three and a half block stretch, you won't find uh, the big box type stores and you won't find the big chain stores. In a town like Bordentown, you'll find shops and galleries, very, very good restaurants that are run by uh, individual folks, couples, families. It's very easy to just do the entire downtown and historic district just walking around. Bordentown is very rich in history. The town was founded in 1682. We had two very important American Revolutionary figures here in town. One was Francis Hopkinson. He was a signer of the Declaration of Independence and his house is still standing uh, right up about a block and a half from here. The most prominent person associated with Bordentown from that period was Thomas Paine. Uh, Thomas Paine, of course, was the, the famous uh, writer who wrote uh, the pamphlet Common Sense. And Common Sense, which was published in January of 1776, was probably the single most important piece of writing to come out of the Revolution, certainly up until the Declaration of Independence. During the Revolutionary period, a woman by the name of Patience Lovell Wright, who's acknowledged as being America's first real recognized sculptor, and she lived here right across the street from Francis Hopkinson. Her house is still here. She also, we think, served as a spy in the American Revolution for the American side. Uh, she was very much in favor of the revolutionary cause and she would help move communications and letters. Bordentown actually <laughs> was home to a number of famous people in various, various different times. Clara Barton uh, lived here uh, prior to the Civil War during her early career as an educator. She taught in the little one-room schoolhouse, which is still here, up on Crosswick Street. You can come and visit it. Of course, Clara Barton went on to, uh, to found the American chapter of the Red Cross after the Civil War in the 1880s. My favorite thing about Bordentown is the friendliness of the, of the people. We know that when people come here to visit us, they always go away uh, very happy that they discovered or rediscovered us. And we welcome all the visitors from everywhere to, to come down and, uh, and see us here in Bordentown City.